Coming soon on Unsolved Mysteries. One of the world's biggest, most highly guarded secrets that we have ever investigated. The Lost Skeptic. Who? What? Why? You've heard his music. You've said other names that begin with S. You've probably eaten a type of biscuit that he reputedly likes. Or maybe you've even walked around a park just like this, where people that look a bit like him may also walk. But just who or what is The Last Skeptic? In our four hour long special episode of Unsolved Mysteries, we look at the facts, fiction, and the fictaction, all to find the truth. Here lies a story, a legend, that the FBI does not want you to know about. A story so secret that MI5 would kill you just for thinking it. Held under lock and key by every ruling agency ever, it has been the source of arguments between philosophers, scientists, religious figures, and people on Twitter since the dawn of everything. We begin at the very beginning, at the very bosom of time, at the very teat of existence. This cave in Mexico holds what may be the earliest supposed sighting of the last skeptic. Written using horse feces on a wall, we can just make out a picture of what appears to be the last skeptic sitting astride a bull. This image has been dated to be over 6,000 years old. We speak to historians. There have been various unexplained, mysterious occurrences throughout history. Roswell, poltergeists, the Bermuda Triangle, most of which have suspiciously no link to the last skeptic. It's almost as if they didn't want us to know he existed. The super skills of this inhuman were noticed throughout the last century across the globe, among which he was credited as hide and seek champion of 1972, seen here in his winning position. Now, Skipti was amazing, man. I mean, like he had skills that, I don't know, man. They were God's godlike skills, man. We, we, we used to go and practice in the, uh, in the warehouses, man, just for, Four walls, it was like an empty cell, you know, and I'd go in there, I'd close my eyes and count to ten and he was gone man. You know, he, 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 like he could be anywhere here right now, you know. He's he's not here, is he? I'm glad he's not here, man. It's a f man. Uh, he he was just he was the greatest at making sandwiches. Right? I mean it was it was like a religious art with this guy like I don't think it's overstating it to say he was like he was like a mix between like Picasso and, and Jesus I think but better if he was a creator so like you know how like most dudes would just buy a jar of, of pickles right he would grow the cucumbers himself and pickle them if he was going to his for lunch you'd have to wait 10 to 12 weeks the problem was after that he like he, he started to get obsessed and you could see it was becoming an obsession I said to make the perfect like bready tower, he was obsessed and he sacrificed everything. You don't even understand, you don't know. He sacrificed everything like flipping friends, family, a lamb at one point. And I could feel his pain he used to write to me. And a lot of people don't recognize he was a man of letters. Do you know what I'm saying? And like beautiful prose sometimes. I actually brought one along for the for the interview. I don't know if you can pick this up, but I mean. But this, this just says everything, man. I, I wasn't sure if he would ever make the perfect bite, but one day he did it. I, I remember it well. You don't have to do this. This is all I have. You have me! If you stop me now, you stop everything I've ever worked for. Everyone knows you're the best! I'm afraid. Afraid of what? I'm afraid that the one person that doesn't know is me. You know what? I mean, after that day, he just wasn't the same. You know? I mean, sandwiches weren't the same. We go further and uncloth the cheese board of mystery, delving deep into the science behind this strange man. The very toppiest of scientists have been looking into the phenomenon for years. Science just doesn't explain it. It's tried, but it can't. I've calibrated all the results of the last skeptic 
in my futuristic future future machine. And all that's come up with is this. It's madness. We spoke to top geologists. I'm a geologist. This beautiful rock is 10 million years old. The last skeptic tried to put his d in it. And ancient crystal formations weren't his only love. He got us so pregnant. I don't think we've ever been that pregnant before. Mm. He just got so much pregnant stuff inside me. But he's such a great dad, isn't he? Mm -hmm. I really hope you'll come and see the kid one day. There were astronomical highs in his weirdly long life. From being an Olympic triple gold medalist, a third world hospital builder, all the way to being the first man to have a wang from the moon. But from the little that we know, there were real lows too. For a young man who has seen the world, it was only a matter of time before his playboy lifestyle caught up with him. Originally cast to play the lead role in Bugsy Malone, Skeptic lost the role after dipping into a three month drink and drug binge. And he was only 10 years old at the time. And he had a full beard. A bullying, dangerous, mysterious man. There are also alleged reports of skeptics seeing active duty for his country. Me and Skep, we've seen things. Things you wouldn't believe. Things that would change a man. Things like Godfather Part 3. <laughs> and he liked it. What kind of man is that? What kind of a man is that? Even his family deny all knowledge of his existence. Uh, I don't know who that is. We speak to the people that love him. <sighs> Skeptic man. <laughs> love that guy. One of the nicest guys I've ever met. So much time for that guy, man. He's a legend. And the people that hate him. Yeah, you see Skeptic, I hate that guy. Guy's a I'm gonna that out if I see him. If the is not dead, then someone needs to put a bullet in him. After 10 years of searching and 400 members of crew losing their lives, we finally found the last Skeptic. Or was Hello? he just simply ready to be found? Skeptic? Hello? Skeptic? Hello? Monsieur Skeptic? It is me from the press! Hello? Oh! Oh my god!